so you want to be a podcaster like the rest of us, like me, and um, you're deciding, how do I get started doing, be, becoming a podcaster? What kind of equipment do I need, and how do I get rolling with that? I'm going to give you, in these next series of videos, just some brief overviews of everything from the Roadcaster Pro. Uh, we're going to look at the Tascam Mixcast 4, and uh, we're going to look at the Tascam Model 12, as well as the Zoom H4n. And over that time... We're just going to look at uh, the equipment that you can use to get started in making yourself a podcast. Uh, realistically, the most simple uh, thing you can use to make a, to start a podcast would be your phone. It's got a really good condenser mic on the bottom. You can get external headphones that plug into it, and then you can do that. And in fact, I'll show you as I record my voice memo here. Uh, I'll do that on my phone, and I'll I'll put that audio coming in uh, right here, so you can see exactly what that sounds like on voice memos. So you just basically go to voice memos, you hit record, and now I'm going to record here and we're switching over to my phone's um, voice memo audio for this video. And so then you'll be able to hear it and compare it to the, I'm recording the main audio on the Rodecaster Pro, and then I'll be switching back and forth. But yeah, basically you can do an interview here with your phone. You can interview somebody else. You can have, uh, and, and you can use the lightning input, input put here to have a condenser mic uh, that can be in the, on the table. You can set it up in front of the table and you can use this, the, your phone as an audio source. Okay, so I'm going to stop that. So that's your simplest way to get, get started with podcasting. And then you could go on an app like Anchor or um, any one of the podcasting uh, hosting websites and upload your stuff straight there. Record straight away there as well. Anchor FM uh, is one. Uh, there's another one, Riverside, I think, uh, where you can actually do the whole video streaming thing. And that comes out with really high quality stuff as well. Uh, one of the most... Uh, tried and true uh, bits of technology that I've used is the Zoom H4n. And I've used this thing uh, for everything from recording music in my home, uh, me playing acoustic guitar to voice recordings. Uh, I use it almost exclusively when I'm doing anything with a DSLR camera. I'll use this as my audio source uh, versus um, the actual camera audio. I do have a Rode mic that goes on top of my, my uh, DSLR camera. But even that, I find this sounds better because I can get it closer proximity. It's got two inputs on the bottom where you can put in XLRs or as well as the quarter inch jacks. And so you got two extra inputs there. They make little lapel mics that come on them. And so you can put a lapel mic on here. And so let me fire this bad boy up. And I'm just going to show you the, just the straight up condenser mics that are on the recorder, though, sound pretty awesome. Uh, and if you can get it pretty close uh, to the source, then it actually will get rid of all the background noise. And so this would be a great little interview mic. We've used this. You get the little furry thing that goes over the top, and then you can be outside in some pretty heavy winds and get a really nice recording of audio. And so it does take a minute for it to boot up. It's, I'm still waiting for it to boot up, but now it's up and running. And so we're going to go ahead and um, I'll select the input, and we're going to go ahead and get started here. And I'm just going to record. Now we'll switch over to the audio for the, on the Zoom H4n. So on the click of my fingers, we're going to be going to the Zoom H4n audio. Oops, hold on one second. And we go and... Okay, so um, now I'm going to test the Zoom uh, H4n1 Pro. I'm doing this at home. I forgot to download the... Uh, the uh, audio when I was at work. So I'm just going to go ahead and do it here now. And you can hear, I'm just using this as a, as a, using the condenser mics that are on it. And I'm just talking right into it. Like I would be, if I was in recording something in the camera and the cool thing is I could put this out of frame and then it can be my audio and just kind of, you know, if you're creative on how you frame it, you can still get a nice clean audio without it being in frame in the camera. And a lot of times I'll just do it that way and have it kind of set up off to the side to get a nice clean audio as, um, as we're doing that. So anyway, there's a test. That's the sound from the H4N1 Pro. And we'll go back to the video now. And you can tell um, it, the condenser mics pick up my voice really well. And it's got some nice quality to it. So again, this thing's bulletproof uh, in terms of I've used it outside all over the place. Um, a lot of people complain about it. it is plastic. So if you're banging around or dropping it, you know, it might be a problem. I have mine in a little case that I bought on Amazon. And so I have that going on there. But one of the cool things I like about this audio uh, or this device is it's got a tripod mount. You can see on the back 
right here where you can mount it to a tripod and then you can angle your these microphones to pick it up. It goes from 90 degrees to 120 degrees by rotating the dials on the top and you get a nice spread on that as well. Um, it makes for a really simple audio interface by hooking up with the, the USB port. And so some of the spec features of the Zoom H4N1 or H4N Pro is it's got four, ta uh, four track simultaneous recording. It's got uh, high fidelity mic preamps. It's got the built-in XY stereo microphones that are adjustable, like I said, from 90 to 120 degrees. Uh, you can record up to 140 decibels. Um, you got the two mic level inputs that are both XLR and TRS uh, connectors. Uh, you've got uh, you've got the little eighth inch jack for the the headphones on the side too, so you can go line out or you can put a headphone there to monitor audio. Um, Headphones got it has its own dedicated volume as well as you have a, a record volume on the other side to where you can. Um, built that in. It's, it comes with built-in effects. And to be honest, I've never used those uh, because I'll usually upload it into some sort of DAW or um, editing device, um, whether it's... So uh, these days I'm using uh, Logic uh, Pro 10, but I've used Ableton and Reason. I've used um, Aud Adobe Audition, Audacity. So all those, um, I'll usually just take the audio up there and then I usually tend to not in, in do the audio in the device, but you can. And it comes with, um, so let me double check it, but the built-in effects comes with compression, limiting, uh, low cut filtering, modulation, reverb delay, and there's some amp models too. Again, not what I've used it for, but the, but those are in there. And the really cool thing is it runs on two AA batteries. So just regular old AA batteries will power this thing, and it'll power it for a long time. I've never uh, used this on battery power and been in trouble where I'm running out of battery uh, on fresh battery. So I've never. It's always gotten me through any kind of uh, film shoot or. Um, recording session that I've ever done. But then it also has an, uh, a plug-in on the bottom where you can get an AC adapter and then you can run it on regular uh, electricity and then you don't even have that as an issue. Uh, like I said, I've used the lapel mics plugged in so you can have two people uh, recording simultaneously, uh, which makes it really nice. So if you're really wanting to start, um, uh, very basically, I think these start around 219 bucks to or so to, to get hooked up with one of these. Now they make a smaller one and Tascam makes a smaller version of these, uh, which won't have, it'll only have the mics on the top. It won't have the inputs on the bottom. And that's like a hundred bucks. Um, you can go on Amazon if you really want to find that. I'll put some links below for the actual prices that they are as of recording this video, which is the fourth of um, April, 2022. But this thing has been a, a staple of my, my uh, video production career. So, and, um, and, and audio recording a lot of my YouTube videos, when it's just me playing acoustic guitar, I play straight into one of these and very minimal editing and it's ready to upload and with the video. So if you're looking for a, a, a very inexpensive way to get started in podcasting or recording audio, and if you like the sound sample, the, yeah, I, can't strong. I recommend this. Uh, the Zoom H4n Pro uh, is a fantastic bit to have in your arsenal. All right. So if this, if you like this video, please give it a big thumbs up and subscribe. Uh, tune in for the next one where we're going to be taking a look at the Tascam Model 12, which is a, a mixing unit, and we'll talk about using it as a podcast unit. Um, it's got some cool features to where you can uh, have a phone uh, conversation come in with a mix minus as well as uh, your recording. So anywho, that's it for this week. Uh, thank you for tuning in and we'll catch you in the next one. Take care. Bye. The Weekly Bark.